G'day folks and welcome back to Bex Basics. So today we're talking about garden trellises, like this one behind me, that I've got these peas growing on. I've been asked a couple of questions about how I build my uh, trellises for my peas, beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, all that sort of stuff. So today I want to walk you through the garden and just show you a couple of the different types of trellises that I've got up here and show you how I've built them, talk to you about how I've built them. Um, they're all very effective and as I said you can use them for anything that climbs or that's just tall so that you can you know, keep it under control. Uh, but let's have a look at the different types. So bear in mind that it's winter here at the moment so I'm really just walking you through the types of trellises I have and some of these aren't being used at the moment, some of them are. Um, like this trellis here, I would normally have uh, tomatoes growing in these pots. I've got beetroot growing in them at the moment. Um, but the trellis sits here waiting for next season. So as you can see with this one, it's just a wire frame. Um, it's just a piece of wire mesh that uh, we bought from the hardware store. And it's really just sitting there tied to a couple of metal stakes here. And the metal stakes are driven into the pots here to give them the, some stability with the earth around the pots, so the potting mix just rammed in around it to hold them up sturdy. Um, and as you can see, it's in between two pots here so that it holds it up nice and straight. But it's just tied on with a bit of wire. You can see the wire here that just ties it on from the, the, um, the mesh onto the timber stake and it just holds it up there. And so th this will serve well as a um, trellis for either tomatoes or beans or cucumbers or anything really. But that's just one kind, it's just a bit of um, metal mesh that we've bought from the hardware store tied to some stakes. Now this stuff's reasonably expensive, um, so let's talk about some cheaper options. So again, this is a trellis that's um, going to be used for either cucumbers or tomatoes next season. Was used for tomatoes last season. We've got cabbages growing in these beds at the moment, but um, I'll show you. You can see that um, there's two end posts here, just growing up there, going up there. They're just hardwood timber stakes. They're driven into the pot down here. You can see just driven into the pot like that. One at either end. All the way down here. Again, driven into the into the potting mix down there. And then across in between each of them, we've got long bamboo stakes. Now you can just use sticks if you want to. You don't have to use stuff that you bought from the from the hardware store or anywhere else. You can just use sticks if you want to, as long as they're sturdy enough. So you just need two uprights, an upright there and an upright there, and then some cross members. Now the number of cross members you have is going to depend on the type of plant that you're growing. So this is a tomato trellis. Tomatoes grow pretty, um, pretty quickly and they also grow quite tall but they're they're sturdy enough and they stand up by themselves quite well um, so you don't need the the laterals or the horizontal pieces to be very close together so these are probably about I don't know eight inches in between I guess and they're really just tied on with some string and this is really just um, garden twine uh, that I bought from the hardware store. You can use any kind of string. You can use um, wire if you want to, but they're really just fastened on at either end. One down there, one down here. You can make these on the ground. I tend to actually build these standing where they're going to grow because that way I can get the length actually right rather than sort of building them on the ground and then trying to stand them up thinking, oh, great, they're the wrong length. So I actually build them in situ. So I actually drive the posts into the ground first and then I start tying these trellises or the, uh, the horizontal pieces on. So you can see that um, the bottom one's probably, I don't know, a bit over a foot above the surface of the soil. That's because the tomato plants will be able to support themselves um, well and truly until they get up to that space. And then they're probably about six or eight inches in between each of them. Now you'll see that I've got these ones tied back to the fence that's just to give them a little bit of extra support. So this string here is just tying them back to the fence to give them a little bit of extra support. It's just tied up to the fence back there. And they're also tied to the front of the pot here as well, just with a little bracket there, just to stop them from tipping over as well. So that's one type. Let's have another uh, look at another type. So here you can see these peas growing up a very similar trellis to the one I just showed you. It's got verticals here with the horizontals across there like that. So a vertical on either end, 
horizontal is just tied on with string I'm just using bamboo there but you'll also see that there's string in between here so this string goes across in front of the peas there because peas have these little tendrils on them so if I can see if I can show you here they've got these little tendrils on them here that can grab onto things but they don't always grab sometimes they're sitting out the front so they will grab a little bit but they won't grab completely and so what I always do is I let them grab as much as they can and then I'll take a piece of string tie it to my trellis here and then bring it out the front of the peas across and tie it onto the other end and that actually holds them back onto the trellis it holds the peas back onto the trellis so not only have I got the the bamboo or you can use sticks or whatever it might be but just some string there or some twine just to tie them to the front to try tie the front and pull them back pull them back onto the trellis so that they don't fall over front ways because they will um, and you can do that with um, beans or peas or tomatoes really anything so that's another type that I use here and then finally you'll find that this is this is almost like a progression right so I've got the the major, main trellis at the back with the verticals and the horizontals then I've got the string at the front but then these peas have gotten so tall that they've actually climbed above this trellis this is where this trellis ends but you can see the peas have gotten much taller than that so what I've done is I've actually added in some more six foot bamboo stakes that go well above there and what I've done is I've actually taken the uh, just some string and just tied it to the uh, to the bamboo stake here and just gone straight across the front of the peas here and tied it at the other end now I often do this if I don't really have a trellis at all sometimes I'll just put up a couple of verticals at the end and just have string not only at the front but also at the back so what it does it sort of does similar to what this what this um, setup here is so you've got something at the back that's a support in this case it's bamboo and then you've got the string at the front so sometimes I'll just have string at the back and then string at the front and that'll just hold them together um, and hold the the um, plants vertical like that I often do that with beans um, because beans depending on the type of beans you're growing some bean varieties don't actually have tendrils like peas and and they won't actually hold on to anything so you actually need to hold them together with something so you're kind of sand, sandwiching them between two pieces of string you could do it with timber if you wanted to or bamboo um, I just do it with string because it's a little bit more flexible and easier and at the end of the season I just um, unravel the string put it back in a ball and I'll use it again next year so um, you can see that, that I've done that with these peas just to extend this trellis here rather than trying to build something behind it I've just done it there so it's just got um, that bit of string at the front I could put one at the back if I wanted to but just a bit of the string at the front just to hold it there on this trellis as, as well so there you have it there's a few different types of trellises that we use in our garden some wire um, wire trellises bamboo you can use sticks bits of string whatever you like um, but there's a couple of things of, of how we've done it as I said I like to build them in situ rather than on the ground and then stand them up because that way I know I'm getting the exact right size that I need and um, it serves the purposes in our garden thanks for joining us on Beck's Basics we'll see you next time